Hi everyone and welcome to learn A-level biology for free with Miss Estruk. In this video I'm going to go through regulating translation. If you are new here then just click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So RNA interference or RNAi that is the process of regulating translation. And this happens in eukaryotic organisms, but also some prokaryotic organisms. And it's involved in just targeting particular mRNA sequences, and therefore certain genes become inhibited. Now, the way this happens is an mRNA molecule that's already being transcribed gets destroyed once it's in the cytoplasm before it can be converted or used to code for a polypeptide chain. So that's why it's called RNA interference, because mRNA that has been transcribed is destroyed. And this process is done by RNA itself, which is called small interfering RNA, or siRNA. So in my last video, I went through transcriptional control to um, regulate protein synthesis. This stage is translational control, so preventing the stage where mRNA codes for a polypeptide chain. So just to go through some key terms and looking at how it all links together, transcription is the process that results in the production of mRNA. Translation is the process where mRNA is used to code for a polypeptide chain. Now that is protein synthesis in a very basic summary, but I'll link my whole video up here so you can watch the full details of protein synthesis. If we now add in translational control, this is where your small interfering RNA can disrupt or destroy the mRNA that has been transcribed. And this is what we mean by RNA interference. So let's have a look at how this actually occurs. So we have some double-stranded RNA, which we can see here. And when that is in the cytoplasm, that can actually be cut into small sections of RNA. And not only that, it can be made to be single-stranded. And both the cutting of this RNA and the making it single-stranded is done by two different enzymes. So we now have small interfering RNA, named because it is smaller, it's short because it's been cut up, and it's gonna interfere with some other RNA. What then happens is the siRNA combines with another enzyme within the cytoplasm, and we call this an siRNA enzyme complex. And because the siRNA is single-stranded, it is able to now line up opposite any complementary base sequences of mRNA. And so we now have a small section, which is double-stranded, but with it, it's brought the enzyme that was attached to the siRNA. And when that siRNA enzyme complex binds to mRNA that has just been transcribed, the result is the enzyme will cut that mRNA. And because the mRNA is cut up, that sequence is no longer intact and it cannot be translated anymore. So that is how siRNA cuts up mRNA and in that way, it turns that particular gene off. And that gene cannot be translated, and therefore the polypeptide chain is not made. So that is it for the regulation of translation.